Yo, welcome back everyone, and this is what if Naruto was Killua's descent, but this is really what if Naruto was Killua's reincarnation, I just think that descent just sounds better, so that's what we're gonna be actually doing, so if you guys were wondering, and I understand if you're gonna click off the video because it's not gonna be descend, descendant but i mean i really don't care at this point we're really close to a thousand subscribers and anyone who can subscribe is gonna be a big help and other than that guys i actually have a, like a new like video out it's actually a different anime video i'm not doing a what if video it was actually like uh explaining the first episode of dr stone and basically my thoughts on it so if you guys want to go check that out please don't forget to go check that out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and other than that guys let's get straight into the intro I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Okay guys, let's not waste any more time And let's just jump into the what if So we start off the what if in the Hunter Hunter world As Killua is actually fighting an Otsusuki As he's just wondering where Gon has went As he's fighting this Otsusuki his power is unfathomable, as Killua is just wondering if this person's using Nen or some other ability, as he's just confused since he's never seen this person or like this type of power ever in his life before. As the Otsusuki just laughs at Killua as Killua tries to attack the Otsusuki, as the Otsusuki is unimpressed, but then Killua had enough of his taunting and immediately went into his god speed mode. And Killua's God Speed mode is probably OP right here. And this is an older version of Killua, by the way. So he's much more smarter, taller, and much more powerful. And this Killua couldn't even touch the Otsusuki, as the Otsusuki was actually kind of impressed with Killua's power, as he was able to at least touch him once. As the Otsusuki said that he had enough, as he immediately used his one of his uh, weapons and immediately stabbed Killua straight to the chest as Killua fell to the ground. Right then and there, Gon appeared. As the Otsusuki saw Gon, he was unimpressed as the same with Killua, as Gon raged seeing Killua laying on the ground, dead. As Gon immediately rushed in with his full power trying to attack the Otsusuki, as the Otsusuki just kicked Gon and Killua to the side. As Killua was completely gone, as there was no more life in Killua's eyes. As Gon knew what he had to do, as he used the secret Nen technique which allows him to guide the spirit to a different world and would allow him to basically take revenge on this Otsusuki which is about to destroy their world. As this older Gon taught to himself, thinking that Killua is their only hope to destroy this Otsusuki, so nothing like this could ever happen to any other world. As Gon was about to die, Gon pulled the spirit out of Killua's body, which was also combined with his Nen, and immediately threw it at the Otsusuki, as the Otsusuki was confused since this wasn't an attack. As the Otsusuki just laughed and used a fireball jutsu to kill Gon. And that was the last time that Killua saw Gon. As Killua started to travel around with the Otsusuki, as the Otsusuki always felt in an ominous presence with him, but th thought nothing of it. As he was traveling around the world and different kinds of worlds to make sure that he can take all the chakra fruits. As the Otsusuki landed on Naruto's world, Killua knew that this planet was in stake, as he immediately left the Otsusuki to find a host, but the Otsusuki didn't think anything of this planet and immediately left, but knew that he needed to return because he felt like there was someone else that he needed to meet. As the Killua spirit started traveling around, it found itself upon the Ninetales attack, as it sees Minato using the Reaper Death Seal to seal the Ninetales inside this boy. As Killua feels a strong presence from this boy, 
and also the Ninetales, as he decides that he might as well inhabit the boy's body, as he immediately encases himself inside of Naruto, becoming one with Naruto. But Killua's spirit was located where the Ninetales was. As the Ninetales notices Killua, he realizes that this boy isn't the person that he sealed him in, and asks Killua who he is. As Killua tells the Ninetales to calm down and starts to explain in how the Otsutsuki destroyed his world. As the Ninetales is astonished and asks Killua if he needs any help. Since the Ninetales doesn't even want to see this world die, as he's not that bad of a person. As Killua said agreed, asking for the Ninetales help, asking if they could train this boy to make him strong enough so they can kill the Otsutsuki. As the Ninetales agrees, not wanting to see this world die. And the Ninetales here is actually, you know, pretty nicer here. I would feel like the Ninetales would agree with Killua since he experiences on all the experiences that Killua and the Ninetales have gone through. And there's a lot of similarities. So I feel like the Killua and the Ninetales would get along pretty well to each other. So now we switch into the real world as Naruto's hair kind of turns into a whitish yellow. As the third Hokage walks in, seeing Minato, as Minato tells the third Hokage to take care of Naruto and make him like one of his sons. As the third Hokage agrees and picks up Naruto, seeing that Naruto has whitish blonde hair and wonders what Naruto really is. As he can also feel an ominous presence coming from Naruto. Even though he knows that this is the Ninetales, he feels another presence coming from him, but he doesn't know what it is. As we skip to when Naruto's growing up, most of the stuff is exactly the same, except for Naruto's personality. As Naruto's personality is basically like Killua's, where he's kind to the people that they're kind to him, and he's ruthless to the people that are basically rude and mean to him. Since Killua is a kind person to the people that are kind to him, and since Naruto's personality is really similar to Killua's, and since no one in the Leaf Village are kind to Naruto, Naruto is actually mean back to them as he doesn't even speak to anyone or give them eye contact as people start calling Naruto the demon fox as Naruto is just confused and walks away. As one day as Naruto was ignoring some genin, all the genin get annoyed with Naruto and are fed up as they call Naruto the silent demon fox, as they immediately rush at Naruto and start attacking him. As Naruto can't fight back, as he curls up into the ball, as all the genin keep on kicking Naruto, as Naruto has no way to fight back. But then all of a sudden, Naruto can hear two voices, as the two voices tell him to get up and fight. As Naruto is confused, but he listens. As Naruto gets up swiftly and punches one of the Genin in the face. As the Genin falls back, confused in how strong Naruto really is. As all the Genin are astonished as they didn't expect Naruto to be this strong. As all of a sudden, Naruto hears the voice again, telling him to push his aura out to make everyone feel it as they all will fall back. As Naruto does what this voice tells him, as he immediately focuses and pushes his aura out, as all the Genin can feel the bloodlust coming from Naruto, as all the Genin immediately start running away. As the voices in Naruto's head disappear, Naruto is just confused since he was able to use a power that he was unfamiliar with. He's heard of Chakra but didn't think that Chakra would be this powerful, as Naruto is just confused in what this power really is. As Naruto went home that day and fell straight into his bed, still thinking in who those voices are and what that power was. As Naruto falls asleep, he falls into his mindscape. As Naruto opens his eyes, he sees two figures, one of a giant fox that he wonders what who this person really is, as he also sees Killua as he doesn't acknowledge Killua just yet. As he looks at the fox and asks the fox if he's the person who is communicating with him. As Killua raises his hand telling him that he was and so was Kurama. As Kurama told Killua not to tell the boy his name just yet. As Naruto said okay Kurama. As Kurama just hit his face. As Kurama just started to tell Naruto that they're going to be training him 
and to make him the strongest shinobi that they possibly can. But when Naruto hears this, he asks Kurama and how he's able to communicate with him and asks Kurama where they are exactly. As Kurama explains to Naruto, telling him that they're actually in his mindscape and that Kurama is actually sealed inside of Naruto. As Naruto hears this, he asks Kurama how, as he tells Naruto that his father is a person who sealed him inside. As Naruto is confused, telling Kurama that he doesn't have a father, as Kurama tells Naruto that he was the person to kill his father. As Naruto hears this, he's just astonished, thinking that this beast that saved him from those bullies is the person who killed his father. As he immediately looked away, about to walk away and about to wake up. But then Killo interjected, telling Naruto what happened to him and telling him that he should stay and that he's gonna train him and make sure that he can redeem Kurama so he can make sure that Kurama doesn't like, you know, go down a wrong path like he did before. As Naruto hears this, he just looks at Kurama and scowls. As Kurama doesn't say anything as he has an, an emotional face. As Kurama is like ashamed of himself for doing this thing. Then Killua explains to Naruto, telling him that there was an Otsutsuki in his world who killed his world and destroyed it and now he might come back to theirs so he can come and destroy it. As Naruto hears this, he realizes that there is only choice is to work with Killua. But he tells Killua that he does not want to work with the Ninetales at any cost. As Killua agrees to this notion, as Killua looks at Kurama and tells Kurama that they'll work together soon, as Killua starts training with Naruto in the Mindscape. As he starts to teach him in how to use Nen, as Killua infused Naruto with his Nen, as now Naruto is able to use his own Nen. As Naruto starts training, as Killua starts to explain to Naruto, telling him that the ability that he used against those bullies and how he drove those bullies away was his Nen, as they could feel his pressure. As Naruto was astonished, asking Killua if this is probably one of the most powerful things. As Killua disagrees with Naruto, telling him that Chakra is probably one of the most powerful things, since the Otsutsuki was able to defeat him so quickly with his Chakra. As Naruto sees this, he starts to train with Chakra as he finally listens to the Ninetales, as the Ninetales teaches him some Jutsu. But this was to Naruto's dismay, as Naruto never wanted to train with the Ninetales, as he was very disagreeable with the Ninetales, as the Ninetales didn't like Naruto, and Naruto didn't like the Ninetales. As we skip to when Naruto's in the academy, as he's actually very proficient, as he easily passes the tests as he's actually in the top of his class and he's probably a mix of regular Naruto and probably Sasuke as everyone is attracted to Naruto and Sasuke as Sasuke just grows to become stronger as he wants to take revenge on Itachi. As Naruto notices Sasuke, he wonders what Sasuke's drive is, seeing that Sasuke is actually pretty strong but not on par with Naruto as Naruto's training has been going really well since he's actually mastered a pretty good amount of Nen and also has a pretty good control against his chakra control and also knows a few Jutsu. As Naruto does the test that day, as he does the Shadow Clone Jutsu, he easily passes this as he's able to, you know, make a perfect Shadow Clone Jutsu. As Uraka Sensei tells Naruto that he did a good job, as Naruto goes back to his seat and sits down. As everyone else is taking their test, there was another random kid who is doing the clone jutsu, as he immediately fails as he makes a failed clone jutsu. As everyone was just wondering how bad this kid is, as Naruto didn't even pay attention. As Naruto was walking through with his hands on his head, he notices the kid talking to Mizuki, as he's just wondering why they're talking as a Jonin does no need to talk to this kid, as he sees the kid immediately run off to get something. As Naruto is just wondering what's going on, he immediately follows the kid, asking Killua if this is a good idea. As Killua is confused and tells Naruto that this could probably be dangerous and this could be a good experience for Naruto. As Naruto follows the kid, he sees a kid go into the Hokage's office and steal a scroll. As Naruto follows the kid, 
there he decides that he might as well knock out the kid and see why he sold the scroll as he immediately rushed in and kicked the kid straight in the face as the kid fell to the ground as naruto opened the scroll he started to see all these different kinds of jutsu as he was very interested in many kinds of jutsu as he saw the flying thunder god and he also saw the flying rajin and a jutsu that got his eye was the shadow clone jutsu as he kept on reading about it he saw that there was also very good uses for this jutsu would basically allow him to have a more experience if he used more shadow clones as naruto decided that he would focus on using this jutsu as naruto started training on using this jutsu and all the other jutsu as he's also learned the flying rajin and the flying thunder god and yes, you heard correctly, Naruto's gonna learn the secret to the Shadow Clone Jutsu. I just want to make Naruto OP quick, okay? So other than that, let's just jump right back into the what if. As Mitsuki arrives, seeing Naruto training with this, like, you know, the seals and all these different types of Jutsu, as he's just wondering what Naruto's doing, as he calls over to Naruto, telling him that he should probably hand over the scroll so he doesn't get in trouble. As Naruto's wondering what's going on, thinking to himself, saying that Mitsuki is the person who told the boy to get the scroll. As Mitsuki laughs, telling Naruto that he must have eavesdropped. As Mitsuki was about to throw a giant shuriken at Naruto, as Naruto easily dodged, as he put the flying Rajin shield on one of his kunai and immediately threw it re behind like Mitsuki. As Mitsuki was confused as he threw another shuriken, but Naruto immediately teleported right behind Mitsuki as Mitsuki wasn't expecting this. As Naruto used a flying thunder god and immediately pummeled Mitsuki into the ground. And that's where I'm going to be leaving off the what if. So if you guys like this what if and you guys want more of this what if, don't forget to, you know, leave a comment in the descriptions. And, and I would say that for the second part for this what if, it would be around, you know, maybe like, uh, let's say around 50 likes. If you guys hit that like goal, we are going to do a second part to this what if. And don't forget to check out my Discord and don't forget to sub to my channel. It would really help us out and we're really close to a thousand subscribers. And this is actually going to be a double upload today, so I'm kind of happy today. And other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later and I hope you guys have a good day.